Hi folks, this is part three, the finale of homeless. Homeless. <laughs> yes, this video is about the second step in recovery from homelessness or from being hopeless and just feeling off, maybe depression or perhaps anxiety in your mind. So good morning, everyone. <laughs> so I'm going to back up here and first tell you that this video is about my walk with Jesus right after I changed my heart. So, you know, it, it's what I went through the first month of being reborn when my old self died. So what does that mean? <laughs> first things first. The first step is you need to believe that God exists. Pretty simple. In John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that's quite the deal there. So, you know, when you cry out to God for help, you need to mean it. You know, I have to ask you, do you mean that? Do you really want to change? Are you doing it for the public or folks that are around you? Or do you feel it for yourself? Believe me, you will know in one heartbeat if it's real for you. So it's about a couple of things that you still need to do, which is, will be very easy once your old self dies and new self's born. And believe me, there are some things that just may not happen right away, but that it will as it moves on a little bit with your new self. <laughs> so what is your old self and what is your new self? Well, your new self is a beautiful transformation, you know, version of what once was so imperfect and flawed, you, me, others. <laughs> and believe me, you will know the difference. You know, part of step two, you will still need someone as a witness, so to speak, to talk to you. Believe me that the rest of this is very easy as you will be overwhelmed with a new you and a love for God through Jesus. You know, when this happened to me, I couldn't stop talking to anyone I met and babbling away everywhere basically about my new life. That's witnessing. Witnessing simply means telling others that you personally experienced the Lord Jesus. For instance, when you receive Jesus as, you know, your Savior, our Savior, we might tell our friends or families about our salvation experience or how wonderful it was that it was witnessing to them. That is witnessing. So Romans 10, 9 through 10, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's pretty simple. For it is with your heart that you believe and you're justified and it's with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. So, you know, after your heart changes, will you need to go to therapy or 12-step alcohol or narcotic or narcotics class? You know, so going back about a few days ago in this story, which was 20 some years ago, I was an alcoholic. I didn't have much money, so I was drinking 24 ounce dollar 59 beers, as many as I could get per day. I had, I had to stop using cocaine because I couldn't afford it. You know, God was working on me then, but alcohol worked just fine right then at this point, and as long as I had a lot, a lot of alcohol. So this is a true story that happened to me next. You know, it's sort of funny kind of now, <laughs> but when my heart changed, I thought my calling was to go to a bar and play pool once a week with the team. I was on a team and, you know, my mission was to change everyone's heart in that bar. Like, you know, what happened to me? Just change all their hearts. <laughs> so I would go into this bar there and then there's a pitcher of beer waiting for me. And I would usually drink two of those. Plus, you know, I had several shots after that with the team, either winning shots or losing shots. <laughs> so, you know, I was in the top 10 ratings playing against 900 players in you know, a pool league and they keep track of everything. I was in the top 10 and I thought, Jesus would be with me and I would win all the games and help win the tournaments for the for the team's sake and tell them how great Jesus is. <laughs> but God had other plans for me. I had overlooked that, his plan. Once your life changes, God already formed you before you were born. He gave you gifts that he wants you to use when you change your life. 
something. First Peter 4.10 says, Each of you should use whatever gift you, you receive to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in various forms. So, you know, back to the bar, I had four more weeks committed to this team for pool, you know. So I showed up at the bar this one night. This is right after my life changed. So I showed up there, and I was ready to change people's lives. And there was my pitcher, my glass. And I poured my, <laughs> poured my glass full of beer and then took a big old swallow. And just as I did that, <laughs> I, started, I about threw up. I said, man, there's something wrong with this pitcher. You know, one of the team members showed up and he jumped in and poured a little bit in his glass and drank it. And then he said, tastes fine to me. Maybe it's your glass. So I thought, okay, another glass. I, you know, I did. I got another glass, poured a little bit in it and started to drink it. I just about threw up again. I mean, it's the worst stuff I've ever tasted in my life all of a sudden. You know, I realized in that moment, I just didn't like beer or alcohol. You know, I ordered white water with ice, and, you know, that's been the case for me now for over 20 years. You know, I have maybe one beer a day now and then, but that's another story. Well, the story continues that night. So I had four rounds of pool to play. I lost all of them. I lost every one. The team kept, at, the team kept you know, asking me, he says, are you okay? It gets worse. The following three weeks, I lost every single game. I didn't win any of the games. And at the end of the season tournament, lost all those too. Lost every single one. The team wouldn't even talk to me. You know, I went from being in the top 10 to the bottom 10 of the 900 players, and I was completely disheartened. Disheartened. Moral of the story, I was praying through this and I realized that this was my first lesson about God's will. God's will. If you pay attention to what is His way, it will change your life daily. If, you know, that every step you take in His name, which Jesus told me in the beginning, He will bless you and you will be blessed. <laughs> I was still an alcoholic on the first day I showed up at that bar, but God cured me that very day of my addiction. I was no longer an alcoholic, and I had no desire for drugs. And during those weeks of losing all those pool games, he was setting me up. He was setting me up to open a good-sized thrift store. You know, I was helping people then with the thrift store open. I was helping people, homeless people, and that changed everything in my heart to help others. Find Jesus. You know, now if you need help to change, you know, your old self today, come to the Greedy Vineyard today and we'll help you with that. So just stay tuned for more information. That's it, folks. See you down the road. Thank you for watching. If you have questions about recycling your heart, come to the Greeley Vineyard Church or Google the Vineyard USA website and find a church near you. Contact them and there will be someone there to help you.